All right, I'm so excited. It's so cute. Actually, no, he yeah. loves presents. Tiny I one. love presents. Check. Vicky, make sure he does the tiny one first. Okay. Okay. I think that he's not letting me. I love that Christmas. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is this for? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Okay, hi, welcome to our Christmas edition of the podcast, which wouldn't be complete without some extra family members. <laughs> Yay! Yellow. Yellow. Yay. Um, yeah, so we have my mom who is sitting next to Chris right now. So if you're an audio listener, check out the video so you can see her <laughs> stupid yeah. sweatshirt I got. <laughs> Hello. And then next to Riley, we have uh, his mom cozied up on the left side. You're having a hot flash? <laughs> <laughs> my mom's waiting. She's having a hot flash after uh, all of this. <laughs> and look how beautiful it looks. You got to wow. turn that up a bit. <laughs> Do you guys want to tell us your process, how you did this, where you started? It was literally your mom's idea. First off, I just helped out. I walked <laughs> out here and I, I was like, we need to Christmas this place up. Mm. <laughs> and then I just started running around your house and grabbing everything I could. Your mom should have been a set decorator, honestly. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it looks beautiful. We love it. And our costumes today, there's a lot going on. Um, we weren't planning on doing a Christmas podcast, but you know what? Christmas started coming and the spirits started getting high. And then a couple advertisers said, are you doing a podcast? And I was like, let's do it. <laughs> so here we are. Um, okay, so I'm Buddy from Elf. Does someone need a hug? Uh, this is the hottest costume I've ever worn. It's horrible, but I love it, and I'm in the Christmas spirit. Jared? What's that stench? <laughs> what stench? It's fantastic. Grinch. Yeah, you're the Grinch. <laughs> I am thinking, though, mm -hmm. how would you wipe your butt with this? Oh. This is very tricky. You get dingleberries in your fingers. <laughs> Finger berries. Oh, Jared. Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Chris is... Okay, so I'm not going to lie. I like don't like this movie. It's a Christmas story, but it was one of the first costumes that came up on Amazon when I typed in Christmas costumes. So you're the kid from the Christmas story who's wearing a bunny outfit? I don't remember it. He was gifted the bunny. I YouTubed this right before this. I haven't oh. seen the movie. I'm Research. a fraud. But the, he was gifted it, and then he's like, oh, I don't want to. Like, come on, Mom. I didn't want to wear it, but... I like it. It was like a pink nightmare. <laughs> I think it looks cute. And the glasses, they work really well for you. You look really good today. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Um, right. <laughs> I guess I've seen two out of the four Christmas movies here because I don't know what that is and I have no idea what in the hell you put me in. <laughs> that blows my mind because that's one of my all-time favorite movies. Really? Yeah, I love that movie. I have no idea what it is. Oh my well, God. you're Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, which I also have never seen. <gasps> have you seen it? I've never seen it. I uh, thought you were an avatar. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. I also don't think Sally had big boobs, but you really insisted on wearing fake boobs for this. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing more I love than a boob plate, so any excuse I get, here I am. Wait, none of you have seen it? No. I don't think so. Is it good? Have it's, you um, it's so good. Have you no seen one? it? Have you seen no, it? No, I haven't <gasps> seen it. It definitely has like a Star Wars <laughs> fandom behind it. You oh, know? Yeah. Yes. There was the like people two... that are into it are very into it. Oh, yeah. In high school, it was like two groups of people. It was people that were really, really into it and people that weren't. I was in the people that weren't. Same. But you look really good. Like, I did your makeup. I think it looks cute. Your wig looks good. Billie Eilish dressed as Sally at the Hollywood Bowl singing the song from the movie. And I feel like you did better than <gasps> Billie Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Chris, you're going to get attacked online. I hope you're ready for what's to come. I love Billie Eilish. There is a reason why our moms are here today. And uh, they have no idea that this is about to happen. I'm kind of springing this on them. So this is very exciting because I love surprising my parents. <laughs> I thought we have to do a gift exchange because it's a Christmas special. So I thought while we're doing the podcast, you guys are going to go on a hunt to go to a store. You can pick any store you want. It has to be one store. It could be Target or 99 cent store or uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to give you my credit card and you have to get one present for each of us to open during the show today. No limit? <laughs> Whoa, Vicky. Um, okay, here's what I'll say. First of all, so people don't get mad at us and like cancel us for doing this. Um, I'm going to donate... 
$500 to a fucking charity. I don't know. <laughs> One of them. Um, so we'll do that. But yes, I would say try to keep it under a thousand for all of us. But if you do see something that's like crazy and amazing, you're like, oh my God, Jared or Shane or Chris will love this or whatever. And it is a little expensive. That's fine. Just don't go crazy. crazy. I'm talking like not cars. Like, like, like you see that perfect rolly that you know. With the <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to donate 500. Don't spend more than a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's four of us. It's a lot. I'm just glad that Vicky lives here and knows where to go. Yeah. Can you imagine if you just said, mom, go get in a car and go do this? I end up well. Okay, over I, a cliff. I do feel like so we need. Well, you guys know us, obviously. You know your whatever Daughter. this is. <laughs> you know us. Uh, Chris is kind of a new addition, so I feel like should you do an interview with Chris to to get into his head and see maybe what the perfect Christmas present for Chris would be. Super gay. If you see anything gay, <laughs> just get it. Honestly, that's good advice. Honestly. Yeah, like Chris, for example, uh, a question would be, you know, uh, what is your favorite hobby? Filming. <laughs> <laughs> my hobbies are my job. That's the okay. thing. <laughs> yeah, let me ask it. Okay, yeah, yeah, go, go. Okay, what have you always wanted for Christmas? <laughs> I mean, I love and Star Wars. Anything Star okay. Wars? See, oh. see. Oh, no. I didn't know that. Me see? either. Okay. So we got we got Chris likes Star Wars and horror movies. Ooh, Ooh okay. horror movies. Ooh, and okay. he loves fat guys. Or I do. Loves also fat guys. Loves <laughs> big man. It's not prostitute. No, you're in a relationship. Oh my god, if a big stripper comes in here, I, Dressed as I Santa? will lose my mind. <laughs> like, that better not be padding. That's a big kink in the bear community, by the way. Santa stuff. I don't really? know if you know. Yeah. I did not know that. It's a big thing. <laughs> it's a big thing. Okay. Um, yeah, and then uh, Mama over here. Do you have any questions for... Well, you don't... Jared, I guess. Well, yeah. You don't know Jared, Jared too much. Yeah, talk to me. <laughs> she knows about his privates from watching the podcast. <laughs> we might be able to find something to help you. I don't know. To help him? Yeah. What do I need help with? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jared, what is something you wanted for Christmas? Oh, you? copycat. Mm. I know. No, it's, it's a good you know, question. It is a good question. You know, I think for me... I usually, if there's something I want, I just get it, and I don't want for a whole lot necessarily. So I just like whatever you think I would enjoy. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you a question. What do you think I'd like? What kind of vibe are you getting off of me right now? Mm. No vibe. <laughs> Damn, my vibe's super no, I soft do, right but now. I'm pretty shy, so now I'm not going to say what I think. Oh, say, what do you think? You're Whoa. thinking. Oh. Oh, Vicky, we're we giving you a hot flash? <laughs> what do we got going? Well, you know we have all the pot stores here. <laughs> oh. You know, Vicky fucking gets me. <laughs> Vicky knows me. Um, okay, do you guys think you have enough information for this mission? Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready, Vicky? <laughs> bye. Let's go. <laughs> okay, have fun. Okay, bye. Bye. Good luck. Your moms are so cute. Thank if you. I don't get something great, I swear to God. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to take a quick little break. I'm going to pee, and um, I just need to touch your boobs. I just need to touch <laughs> Come on in. Okay, good. And uh, when we come back, our Christmas podcast special continues. See you in a second. Okay. <laughs> I already got this hat. Uh, our first sponsor today, which I'm very excited about because they're brand new. This is the first time they've sponsored the show, and that is Rocket Money, formerly Truebill. So going into next year, my plan is to cleanse all the things in my life that give me anxiety and that feel very overwhelming. One of those things is all of my subscriptions I have, because I have a lot, and I don't even know like what I'm using, what is worth it. Like I'll just randomly get emails from PayPal and it's like, you just spent $10 on blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the hell is that? But luckily Rocket Money is going to help me change that. I'll explain in a second, but first let me explain what Rocket Money is if you don't know. Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. So this personal finance app helps you to manage subscriptions, build a custom budget, and grow your savings all in one place. So as I was saying before, they help you cancel on unwanted subscriptions. So if you're like me and you have a million subscriptions, you can use the app to safely and securely identify the reoccurring charges and the unwanted subscriptions on your phone. And with just a tap, it'll make them go away. So I actually went through and yesterday I looked, I had 40 subscriptions, 90% of which I had no idea that I was still paying for. So thankfully Rocket Money came in clutch and help me get rid of those. Another thing they do is help you monitor your credit. So this is a big one, especially if you're at the age where you're wanting to get a car or you know 
we get a house, get a mortgage. Your credit score is very important. And when your credit score gets messed up, it's not like somebody will just send you an email or send you something and be like, oh, hey, your credit score is fucked up. Like that is something you find out when you're sitting at the car dealership trying to get the car and they're like, um, this sucks. Well, with Rocket Money, they will monitor your credit. And if something happens or something gets messed up or you know one of your bills goes unpaid or something, they will send you a notification and say, hey, your credit score is down, this is why, and this is how you can fix it. Oh, and they also have something where they help you lower your bills, and all you have to do is you take a picture of your bill, you upload it, tap a button, and Rocket Money will help negotiate your bill for you and lower your bill. From internet service bill, to cable bills, to phone bills, it will help you get the lowest rate possible, which is incredible. So to save more and spend less, join the 3.4 million other people who are using Rocket Money. Just go to rocketmoney.com slash grower, or click the link in the description to get started for free or unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash grower to get started for free. So thank you so much, Rocket Money. And you guys, seriously, check it out. If you are trying to save money, you're trying to get your finances in order for this next year, it is an amazing app and I really trust it. So check it out. All right, enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, I'm just gonna point out the obvious. I f and no offense to your dad, Bruce, who I love, um, but I felt like there was some sexual tension between you and Rylan's mom. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, it's just there's something about Vicky. I don't know? know if this is worse wow. for my dad or Sandy. But no, it, it's like more of a, um, it's more of like just a fantasy situation. It would never happen, you know? Right. It's just like, how do I make it less weird? How do I make this less Grinch weird? fingers aren't helping. How do I make this less weird? Okay, I have so many questions. First of all, thank you guys for coming so far uh, during the holiday season. We're literally filming this the day after Thanksgiving. This is a lot. How was your guys' Thanksgiving? Who wants to go first? A, a little under the weather, but Sandy did her thing, made some amazing food. Uh, we watched some movies, some TV shows, and I was just like, damn, I'm thankful. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That was beautiful. Yeah. Chris? Mine was really nice, too. Uh, I had two Thanksgivings. The first Thanksgiving was with my boyfriend's family. Uh, and the second Thanksgiving was with my family. So, okay, I'm gonna ask something, and I feel like I can get away with these questions since I'm dressed as Buddy the Elf, because, like, he doesn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> True. I, question. So yeah. how is a Mexican Thanksgiving different than a Peruvian Thanksgiving? Because I feel very ignorant for thinking that they're similar. Well, Mexican and Peruvian food is completely different. That's one oh. way we're very different, because there's no tortillas in Peruvian yeah. food. I am so, so wet that from how is... you said that. So there's no... <laughs> A crime, though. So we don't have tacos, burritos, like that's what the Peruvian food because potatoes come from Peru, so most of our dishes have potatoes. In okay, yeah, that's it. pupusas. Uh, pupusas. Uh, we. I don't think pupusas are Peruvian either. Actually, mm. no. suddenly Chris has an accent and he's like turning everyone on. I know. <laughs> You're like my favorite, like on the Food Network when I was little, and I'd be watching, and like it'd be a Mexican woman, and then out of nowhere she'd just be like, and then do this, and then do this, and then grab the tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh. <laughs> and you're like, oh. <laughs> it's really good, Chris. Oh, that. thank you. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Proven food's really good. You guys should try it. There's well, a lot are of, you like. going to make it for us? Yeah. I mean, I can't make anything. I'm a terrible cook. But I'm sure I could bring some or find some or have a tea and make some. Or, yeah. I mean, there's, like, french fries and meat and stuff. It's really good. <laughs> All right. Cool. Jared? Um, I have a question. Oh, you're just going to skip right over our things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's right. Yeah, that, of course, that's right. <laughs> um, we were together. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, what'd you guys no, do? It was nice. My brother, had this is he moved into a new house last year or this year, and uh, he hosted for the first time. His wife cooked, and it was delicious. It was really fun. The whole family was there. Both families, well, like my brother's family and our family was there, and it was very fun. Yeah, it was actually, I would say, one of the best Thanksgivings ever, and the food was really good. Okay, your brother's right there. Oh. <laughs> As opposed to, you know, our Thanksgivings where we got KFC. And <laughs> I think we went to Denny's. We definitely did Denny's. Well, we, did. we literally would drive through uh, Carl's Jr. Like, my mom does not cook. She was not interested. My grandma, you know, like, they just hungry, need food now. So, yeah, it was very much a drive through Thanksgivings. But I liked it. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, why not? It's nice that you both, you found Sandy who likes to cook, and Shane found me who whose family will cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Um, okay, so I'm very excited because my two favorite segments on this show, we have ready to go. Where do we start? Should we start with the Christmas cheap trick or should we start with the Christmas Peruvian fact? Ooh. Ryland, you decide. What a delight. I want a cheap trick. <laughs> He's got a pocket of change. He makes a lot of sense. When the price goes up, he'll get it. He'll get it. 
Hey, what is it? <laughs> what is it? A cheap trick? <laughs> I thought we were I talking said, about one okay, at dinner. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. It's it's more of a of a complete life hack. Okay. Uh, in regards to Christmas, so when I was younger, one of my first jobs that I ever had was at a Christmas tree lot. So I was 14 or 15 years old, and it, at the time, minimum wage is like six or seven dollars an hour. But tips is how you made the most, the majority of your money, you mm -hmm. know? And most people don't know that you get tips. So my thing was, I wanted to let people know that I did get tips. Oh my God. And not only did I get tips, but I was very generous with my tips. So what I would do is I would basically, in this Christmas tree lot, the way that it was set up is you would walk them through an area. And within this area, there was little trees that were set up. They had the bells and the whistles and the lights on them. And eight out of 10 times when I'm walking by, by this tree, they would say, oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you know? And I'd be like, yeah, you know, with the tips I get this week, I'm hoping I can get that for my oh, grandma. No! Oh! <laughs> that is shameless. So, that is some Elizabeth Holmes shit. I needed a car, yo. So, <laughs> and, and, and you know, it's Christmas. Pe I mean, people could never be more happy than to hook people up that are trying to help people out. Yeah. You know? true, true, true. But yeah. sometimes they wouldn't notice the tree. You know, so then I would just ask, oh, if they had kids, oh, what do you want for Christmas this year? You know, oh, I want a Nintendo 64. Like, oh, yeah. With the tips I make, I'm hoping I could get my brother one of those. No! <laughs> <laughs> and no lie, nine times out of 10, it would be a $20 bill for a tip. Wow. Every, and then they all would say, oh, I hope you get your grandma that treat. <gasps> and, you know, I tried to get as much of this stuff as I could. <laughs> but here's where the life hack comes in. Yeah, if you work at a the Christmas player. And let, I, me, let me just say, by the way, these tips are very grinchy. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a lot of manipulating, a lot of lying. <laughs> I think that you can apply that tip to almost any service job. Well, I, I think lie? Hey, they don't get paid enough. It's like a little lie. If the per and it's not like if somebody tells me that, I'm choosing if I want to tip or not. Okay, like, like, let's say we're no, at Starbucks. I don't think I'm okay. con. Thank God Starbucks finally put the tip option on credit card. I used to feel so bad because yes. I'm not carrying around cash with me. And it's mm -hmm. like all the other coffee shops are like, do you want to tip 58%? And I'm like, fine. But Starbucks finally added that. And see, people are getting tipped at every single job that you could ever think about. That and they true. keep upping it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's That's like true. the Target register person. It's like, why am I tipping you? Because tips were generally created so people didn't have to pay wages and people could just thrive off of the tips. You know, like restaurants can pay people $4 an hour. What? Because the tips yes. compensate for that. That's, and I mean, then, it's different and per then people, state, but... And then you get taxed on the tips differently. That's why it's always good. Life hack. Tip people in cash if you're able to. Ooh, okay. You know what I'm saying? But nobody cares. And then you could always cash. slide it to them. Like, hey, you did a great job. You know, like here, fold up a 20 or something and hand it to them. Ooh. Because that way they don't have to do all that with the taxes. But yeah, if you work at Starbucks, when you turn around the iPad because you typed in a few numbers and you deserve a tip, you just say something like, oh yeah, what do you want for Christmas this year? And they say, Stop it. I want this, but yeah, I'm hoping with the tips I get from Starbucks, I could buy my brother a PS5. Okay. You and know? if you work at a coffee shop, don't be too friendly. <laughs> Wait, what? That is not what does a good that mean? Hat. That's No, I have an axe to grind. <laughs> Sometimes You're yelling. They it's because I want to <laughs> yell at somebody about Should this. I turned on it, your microphone. It, okay, you I'll gotta, just back up. You got a bean to grind. It feels yes. <laughs> but that sounds yeah. that sounds bad. It's like that was a good one. I understand being friendly, but there's such thing as Do being you? too friendly, and it makes me want to never go to a coffee shop yeah. again because it's like, how many people are going to ask me what do I have planned for the day? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't like being called Hun. How about that? Hold That's on. my thing. Hun let, or Sweetie. I let, don't like it. Let me explain. So there is a coffee shop we go to every day called Dutch Brothers. Um, and we go there every day. And the only thing that m makes us not want to go there is they are, I think it's in their contract. They have to say, got anything fun planned for today? Or what do you got planned for today? Any good plans for today? Like they, they have to say that, right? And you encounter why. five employees every single time you go there. So th you get asked that five times. But then sometimes the employee, like if they're on autopilot, they ask it like five times to you like because <laughs> so like for example i'll be the employee and jared you're me okay yeah. um okay what would you want okay coffee great got it uh got anything fun playing for today yeah oh, oh god uh, i would never say yeah a lot of fun stuff oh cool great okay and here's your thing okay got it um uh, yeah. got anything fun planned for today or any any plans later 
Yeah, totally. Cool, great. And then you pull up to the front, the thing, they get hand you your drink. And and then... No, they don't hand you your drink. It's brutal. You wait for five hours while they make more conversation. And they're hanging out of the window asking if you want fucking stickers. And No, they're very nice. They're very nice. But sometimes, and they've got to think I'm the biggest loser in the world because they're always like, doing anything today? I'm like, nothing. Because I don't want to talk. You know, I've only gone there a couple of times, but my wait, angle is, yeah. my cheap trick is I just ask them a million questions. Oh, I'm like, no, what do you got going on for today? Da, da, da. Oh, what's that like? Da, well, da, da. Okay. So I just make them do a bunch of talking. My like, bigger problem is the questions that are then like, what's your favorite animal? And I'm like, I just can't do this right now. Like, okay. I'm so sorry. But can we just say, for because I don't want to be awkward next time we go there tomorrow. <laughs> um, we love it there. It's our favorite place. We love their coffee. Everything's great. Everybody that works there is so fucking nice. Mm -hmm. It is not their fault. You know what? This is our public service announcement to the Josh Brothers employees. <laughs> If you guys are watching this, you do not have to ask us how our day was. You don't have to ask us what we have planned for today. All you got to do is smile and we tip big. And <laughs> we love you. And we're very appreciative. No. Thank and you. this is straight to the top. It's, could, the it's coming. The problem is coming from the top. And you could start off like, hey, I want a number one. Make it extra strong. I have a lot of fun shit planned for today. Don't worry about asking me. I have a lot of fun stuff planned. My favorite color is orange. Maybe I like just, pandas and I watch baseball. Just don't ask you me know? the weird questions. I'll stop before I really dig my foot into the ground chris <laughs> save us give us a christmas <laughs> peruvian fact now chris is cool he's from peru his peruvian facts are fun for me and you okay so uh in peru Ooh. um the majority of peru and latino people in general are catholic they practice catholicism yes and uh because of this in they peru they hate gay. No, hey. no. <laughs> because Aren't a lot of them gay. There's actually a lot of gay people in Peru. <laughs> but anyway, really. But uh, uh, Christmas, and I think a lot of people know this uh, because Mexicans and Latino people in general do this, but is celebrated the night before. Christmas is celebrated December 24th if you're a Latino person, not the really? 25th. And then what do you Why? do on Christmas Day? Which, uh, I mean, by then you, I mean, it's. Christmas is really the day before. Mm -hmm. You hang out, you enjoy your gifts, whatever Christmas day. But December 24th is La Noche Buena, which or mm. is like good night. And the, it's the main day for the celebrations. Uh, back in the day, it was typically after mass. Families would go home to feast on an elaborately uh, prepared dinner, which mm. is still the case with my family. Mm. And you open your gifts late at night. Um, we did that. And uh, you guys do that too? Yes. yes. They're yeah. part of the Latin I don't. <laughs> Well, here's the West. thing. It's very opposite because you went to school with all white people yeah. and that. I think I feel like it's the opposite for us. Like, I was the only white person in most of my classes. <laughs> I have just an affinity for the Latin, you know, yes. population. I oh, my God. Them. Yes. You know, married to a uh, Latinx. I'm married to a Mexican. <laughs> and also, uh, okay. my kids will be Latinx. Oh, my God. So are ours. I think our egg donor is kind of Mexican. <laughs> Sorry, no. Win. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, also, though, we... Um, um, uh, we went to Catholic school, and we really? went to mass. We survived. No way. Sorry, I just we just really took over that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, keep but, going. I mean, it's interesting because I remember the first time I like spoke to someone at my school, and they were like, "What do you mean you celebrate the 24th? And I was like, "What do you mean you celebrate the 25th? Like, I just assumed everyone did the same thing, and it blew my mind. But uh, my fact is also a German fact, <gasps> Be, not just a Peruvian. A double fact. whammy. Hold on. Because roll the theme song. <laughs> he's half German. He's so bright. He's a factual delight. Are you ready for some fun German facts with Chris? In most European countries, gifts are exchanged on Christmas Eve as well, December wow. 24th. Yeah, well, how did they do Santa? I, I mean, I think it's just well, Santa nowadays. I don't know about before. There's a thing they have called Krampus, which oh, is yeah. where they tell their kids if you're bad, a horned goat demon from hell is going to come kidnap you in the night and put you in a sack and beat you and take you to hell. Why am I hard? <laughs> um... <laughs> Wow, interesting. Well, those were great facts, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> I did get a good question on Instagram. I went to the Achi and Dustin podcast Instagram, and I asked what you guys wanted us to talk about on this Christmas special. And I'll get to a lot of these soon. But the first one is, what are some good gift ideas for men, for the men in their lives? And we're all men, half, uh, kind of. So, uh, yeah, let me think. What's half. a good gift? <laughs> well, you. Uh, Jared's a man. Yeah, Jared, you're a man. What's a good <laughs> gift idea for these women out there who need a, a gift for their man? <laughs> what do men like? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I'm bad at this. But like, you know, things that uh, like a really cool pen. 
Like if somebody <laughs> gave me, yeah. it sounds goofy, but it's like I'm just laughing, but, thinking about like what if some girl gives her boyfriend a pen for Christmas? It's just like <laughs> it's so sweet, and he's like, "Babe, this fucking sucks." And she's like, "Jared told me." <laughs> but you know, <laughs> like a, watches are really nice. Uh, nice slippers are always really nice. Slippers, slippers, yeah. fuck know? me up with slippers. Yeah, yeah. yeah the slippers. Who doesn't want a slipper? And then maybe like just something cool and ornamental, you know, that like carries the vibe of the guy. Like Aww. some he could. Put Put up on a mantle or like something that a little statue figurine fountain. Ooh. You know? Actually, let me tell you what not to give your husband though, really quick. Because I did get another thing on Instagram and she goes, So my husband's a grower. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I should get him grower merch for Christmas or will he be offended? <sighs> um so before we answer that question, we have merch. <laughs> <laughs> We just put out grower merch, which we have two different colors. There's a tan and there's a black and it's really cute. And they say grower association because we're start, trying to start our association. And we also have the corduroy hoodie and the corduroy bucket hats and they match the couch in LA. So yeah, check those out, uh, shanedustinmerch.com and uh, get your grower merch today. Also, if you're a woman and you buy the grower hoodie, please send us a picture. I just want to see a woman wearing that hoodie. It's very funny to me. I don't think it's offensive at all. And I don't think it's anything like, why wouldn't they be proud of it? It's a perfect They'll never gift. be happy. For the life. man in your life. I don't know if a single yeah. man's going to rock the grower well, shirt. I'll, I will say, I don't know if I'm allowed to say her name, but I got an email from a girl and she said <laughs> um, that she <laughs> that she currently is married to a grower and she prefers it over showers. And she <gasps> said, it's fun, incredibly fun to play with. You watch it Ooh. double or triple in size. It's fun to squeeze and hold in your hand. When it's hard and you squeeze it tight enough, it makes all the blood rush out. And then letting it go and watching it fatten up again. <laughs> Is really satisfying. Um, it's like showers. slime? <laughs> yes! Oh my god, mine is like slime. And she said showers give her the ick and that she loves the grower merch. Wow. Can I get a shower merch? Thank you. Fuck off. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to go grab our dicks and watch <laughs> I'm and let go and watch them fatten Are up. Are we ever coming back to our <laughs> gift guide? <laughs> and when we come back, <laughs> I don't fucking know. See you guys in a second. Okay, our next sponsor, I'm so excited because I have it right here. I just opened it. Well, okay, before I show you, our next sponsor of the day is Displate. So I have been seeing Displate everywhere on YouTube. Like, I watch a lot of reaction videos of people watching old movies and stuff, and I'll see people with these Displates behind them of the movie they're watching, and they like snap it on the wall, it's magnetic, and then they snap it off, and they put whatever movie they're watching now. So I actually looked into this, and I was like, what are these? found out it was Display, and then I got the email that they wanted to sponsor the show, so perfect timing. So Display is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. Uh, they have a lot. Like, I went on the website. They had a lot of, like, Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Netflix, pretty much any game or movie you could think of. They probably have some sort of Display. And the one I got, ah, oh, I'm so excited. I need to figure out where I'm gonna put it, is Scream! Ah, oh, my favorite movie ever. Oh, I love it, and it's like, I got this really saturated, like, glossy version. Oh, I just love it. So yeah, I'm just gonna snap that on my wall behind me, and it's really cool. I also really like it because of the metal. It's not like, like my other posters, I have glass or plastic covering them, and there's a lot of glares and reflections, and it's kind of annoying. The metal, there isn't really any of that. Actually, no, there's none of that. So it's not gonna, like, get annoying to me. I'm not gonna see my face in it, which is, a nightmare. And the process of actually putting it up is very easy. You don't have to have a hammer or nails or screws or any of that. So it's also really good if you're like renting or you're not supposed to put anything up on your walls. All you do is wipe your wall with a cleaning wipe, stick on a protective leaf, place the magnet, and then snap the display right on your wall. It's really easy and it doesn't leave any crazy weird holes in your walls because I have a lot of those that I'm too lazy to cover up. It's also a really good Christmas gift and it ships worldwide within four to five days and it doesn't get all messed up in shipping because whenever I bought a different poster from eBay or something, there's always a chance it's gonna get ripped or it's gonna get like bent, folded, weird. This came in this, you know, nice box and it had protection and it's metal so it didn't, you know, bend or get weird. Oh, and they're eco-friendly and every design sold, they plant one tree, which is really cool. So if you want a Displate, please check them out. I'm so grateful to them for sending me this, for sponsoring the show. If you go to displate.com slash Shane Dawson and use code GROWER, you will get percentages off. Let me explain. If you buy one to two designs, you get 20% off. And if you buy three or more designs, you get 30% off. So that's displate.com slash Shane Dawson, S-H-A-N-E-D-A-W-S-O-N, and use code GROWER. Uh, yeah, they're awesome, I love them, and I can't wait to hang this up and swap it out. Also, I kind of want to make my own displays, so if you want that, let me know in the comments. Like, 
the Jeffrey series or like the podcast promo pics or I don't know. Let me know. That could be cool. All right. Enjoy the rest of the show. I'm gonna take this head off. I'm feeling right. fucking old lately, yo. Me too. In fact, I think I might. It's like a midlife crisis. When do you know you're in it? Oh. I, got, I gotta be. There's no way I'm. <laughs> what I'm, are you struggling I'm, with in the midlife? I'm not really. But you if it's a crisis, saying, but it's there's gonna something happen, wrong. Though. No, I, I think. I, is it gonna come? Because there's no way I'm not halfway through my life yet. <laughs> what are you? 35? 37. No. What's that times two? Or? If I lived to 74, I think I'd be the oldest living male member ever in our family. What the what? fuck? Really? Yeah. Are you telling me I'm gonna be a widow? <laughs> uh, we never know excited. what tomorrow holds, so I don't know. <gasps> but no, I think maybe maybe we could do mid to late seventies. We could rock it maybe out. Maybe we you know? could do. I'm living till hundred, but we also live much healthier lives than our ancestors before us. Yeah, I'm kind of scared. That really freaked me out. I didn't know that. I thought I was gonna live to like at least maybe eighty. <laughs> oh, you got that. Okay, you got that. Keep working out. <laughs> I've got twenty years Drink by water. myself. You think you're gonna live to a hundred? Yeah, fuck yeah, I do. Yeah, you probably will. Um, okay, spoiler alert. If you have any children in the room, what is wrong with you, first of all? <laughs> hey! I've seen babies watching our podcast, and that makes me nervous. But also, like, thank you guys for the support. Um, if you have any children, please cover their ears or make them leave the room, because we're about to talk about Santa, who's very real, and we love him very much, and he's amazing. Are they gone? <laughs> okay, great. Um, our first question that I think is a really fun one is, when did we find out that Santa Claus was not real mm. what i feel like you still would believe in santa uh, that would be a very on brand for me <laughs> yeah i don't remember the age or when but i remember i was in the back seat of a car mm. and uh like at my family friend sebastian just out of nowhere it was like you don't still believe in santa do you and i'm like what do you mean believe in santa like that does i don't even understand what you're saying he's like well because he's not real and i'm like Okay. Fuck. Like you're that. crazy. That makes no I sense. I will find Sebastian. My parents were in the front seat, and I was like, "Can you believe Sebastian's saying like, Santa's not real, Mom and Dad? Can you tell him?" And they were like, "Tecito, we need to talk to you." And I was like, <gasps> and I, I literally felt sick to my stomach, and like I was so, I was like, "Oh, I can never trust either of you again because you're liars." Wow. Like, and I can't trust a word that comes out of your mouth. And I was like, hated my parents, and it was like, it really hurt me hold on that actually made me think is it like abusive to tell your kids about santa because yeah once you once they find out you've been lying to them do they not are they not able to trust anything you ever say again uh, that's how i felt <laughs> that i was gonna say i think an interesting question because none of us as of yet have kids mm -hmm. but what is our uh philosophy on santa with our children like because i'm not gonna tell my kid there's a santa i don't think what? so why Be because i i think i'm along the lines of what you're saying like the disillusionment mm. because like dude i can to be honest I, th I think i was like seven years old or six years old when i stopped believing in 10 and so shout out to your parents for letting you believe until you're 10 you know <laughs> yeah, but, like, but there's something magical about it you know and don't, if you're gonna do that to your kid all i ask is that you tell them not to spoil it for the kids at school that do believe yeah wait did you have it spoiled yeah yeah probably <laughs> i mean because i could re I, I don't remember exactly how it happened but i remember the last christmas the gifts that we got mm -hmm. and you got the mighty max the big how do you remember this <laughs> how do you remember this i got the huffy <laughs> dr shock spike that got stolen four days fucking later no. oh but my God. that was the last christmas because i kept staying up i kept staying up and i thought it's so crazy because we go to sleep and then we're just gonna wake up and it's there and then i saw saw mom and dad putting this stuff yes. out and then they told <gasps> me they do them? it but you know the thing is it didn't break the magic for me necessarily it made me think like wow like real people are actually doing this for me that's even more magical than a fake thing that would do it for me like my mom and dad are doing it i was pissed and i, I was just <laughs> i just want to make sure though that i was still getting gifts you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> whether i know or not does that make me not get gifts next year from santa you know? honestly it's probably even better because you can hint all year what you want to your parents because they're santa yeah wow you know um well that just was really traumatic now i'm thinking about it yeah i was really upset i loved the idea of santa so much and then i remember the next year when i knew he wasn't real i'd get so angry because i'd see you know like you turn on the radio and it's like oh the weather forecast oh, uh oh there's something in the sky when's santa coming like yeah. they, they really play into it and i remember just being like fucking liars fucking liar like i was so mad Yes. It really did ruin a lot for me. So I'm. I think we should tell our kid that Santa's real, and I think we should keep it going until they're like 
18. <laughs> I was in about fourth grade and I was looking for wrapping paper to wrap one of my gifts for a different family member. I looked under my parents' bed and I had seen the gifts I had asked Santa for under my parents' bed. Oh. And I'll never forget it. My mom was curling her hair in her bathroom mm-hmm. and I marched right up in there and I confronted <gasps> that bitch. Sorry, mom. <laughs> And she admitted it. Hey, to hey, me. don't talk about Vicky like that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mom. You're not a bitch, but I confronted her. And then she was like, You're old enough. Like, <gasps> yeah, Santa's not real. And, you know, I took it hard, but I didn't blame her. I wasn't like you guys. I didn't take it out on my parents. Oh. I was just like, I can't believe this is happening. But I also kind of knew it. I, I was probably a little too old to be still believing in Santa. But I think they did a good job because they did make our Christmases magical. I will give them that. Like, never ever did I catch them them acting as santa so that's why i do want to give our kids the experience of that magic not that it can't be magical without although there is like a thing in the back of my head though that like because whenever a kid whenever i would like see parents with their kids and the parents would be like i gotta put the fucking you know hershey's on the ground and say it's reindeer poop and i gotta whatever when i would see the kids buying it in my head i'd be like fucking idiot you know what i mean and i never want to feel that way cookies for santa i don't want to feel that way about like our kids like i don't want to be like okay santa's coming tonight and then be like fucking idiot. yeah like a a part of me is thinking like a i think your mom good for her for being honest because she could have been like yeah i gotta tell you something I'm seeing Santa. Whoa. <laughs> and he asked me if he could hide the gifts underneath my bed. Whoa. Don't that's tell your better. dad. Right? I'm just saying, you know, I, I expected that from Vicky. You know wow. what I'm <laughs> I think we come up with an age where we agree that we tell them. No. Like, it doesn't have to be. What about the Easter Bunny? That shit is so unbelievable. Sorry, Bunny. <laughs> but that shit is so unbelievable. I can't believe that. And the I Tooth Fairy. That. Oh, that shit is terrifying. Fucking grabbing yeah. some your tooth under your pillow while you're sleeping? Ew. How did we believe all that? I, I don't, don't think know. I ever did. I just thought, like, I'm going to get money. You know? It's so all about cares? the money for Jared. It's like, when I lose my Tooth Fairy, like, what I'm going to do is buy my brother a Nintendo yeah. 64. Like, how do you manipulate the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> how do we do that? <laughs> um, wait, Chris, what are you going to do when you have kids? Are you going to tell them Santa's real? Or are you going to tell them La Llorona's real? My, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. Wow, I can't with you and Jared I, right now. Because, like, it hurt me so bad. <laughs> I'm such a sensitive baby boy. I don't know. I can't imagine doing that to my kid. But it also, like, there were a lot of years of fun stuff, too. My parents also went all out. My dad really, like, tried to make me believe in Santa. Like, one day there were, like, like boots coming from the chimney Aww. of like someone's prints to the chimney stuff like that. And I was like, cute. I was like, oh my god, I caught there's I caught proof of him. He's real. Like, you know, or whatever. did your dad just blame something on Santa? You know, if Santa hasn't yet been canceled <laughs> by TikTok, I think he's fine. He's non problematic because if they have a problem with anything, they would have already canceled Santa. Yeah, I guess it is kind of like hurt, like like inappropriate for him to come into your house in the middle of the night and like do things. Should I play into like <laughs> Gen Z and make like a cancel Santa campaign on TikTok? TikTok to go viral. <laughs> and if it works, it's proof that our world's trash. I think um, TikTok proves that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I think we have time for some Christmas conspiracies. <gasps> um, okay. This is kind of a conspiracy, but not really. It's just a theory. But it's about the Grinch. Ooh. Okay. This actually made me almost cry. And I could, I could push it and get a tear out if I wanted to. So there's a theory about Max from the Grinch, the dog. Have you heard about this? No. Okay, so you know how the Whoville dump leads to the Grinch's house? Yes. Like they throw things away and then it ends up at the Grinch's house and he's like covered in trash or whatever. No. So the theory is, you know how Max, his dog is kind of like a mess and kind of a nightmare? The theory is that he was thrown in the dump by somebody in Whoville who didn't want him and that's why the Grinch has him. <gasps> that's definitely what happened. That is oh, sad. It has to be what happened and that's sad. It is so sweet and sad. That is the saddest thing I've ever heard. If that didn't make the Grinch not a Grinch, that's very thoughtful. Well, what he, what's he going to eat the dog? <laughs> <laughs> I just, no, he could have abandoned him. I Where? guess he needed the dog. He is abandoned. Oh. On Crumpet Mountain, or what's it called? Oh. It was How? nice of the Grinch to take him in. It was. Well, the Grinch is kind of like a big dog, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is the Grinch? Isn't he? He's like a goofy. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, so I, I think the they're same. the same uh, yeah. race. Uh, Goofy and the Grinch. How did the trash go up a mountain? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I think it's just who magic. Okay. They would throw a thing, yeah, and it go whoop. Who knows? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Who cares? Oh my god. You know how porn has like weird subcategories of like, you know, Star Wars porn. Sorry. What? Didn't mean to get you hard. But do you think they have like Whoville porn or like Grinch porn? Oh, for sure. You want me to check it out? Okay. I mean, 
I mean, they, they have it. it you, exists. You're watching it, Chris? Do you know that? <laughs> no, I just, when I found out, there was like, someone told me once, they were like, oh, it's incredible. They made an Avatar porn. It's 3D. And I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, they make porn about movies. And I was like, what do you mean? And then I was like, well, hold on. And I had to look. And there was a Star Wars porn. There was an Avatar porn. There was a Grinch porn. There was like everything. Everything you can think of, there's a porn version. Star Wars, I think, is like the famous one. <laughs> it's, incre- <laughs> it's incredible. How what? the Grinch stole... My virginity? <laughs> that is everything. Oh my god, the Grinch has a huge dick. Chris's ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, anyway. this is interesting. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and <Whoa>. next topic. <laughs> oh my god, kind of hot. Okay. Uh, I'll do this later. Um, okay, this next one is not really Christmassy, um, but I got so many emails about this. Basically, there's a moment in Toy Story 3 where Ken says something to Barbie, and for some reason, everybody on TikTok and everybody on the internet thinks that Ken is saying, fuck, oh, fuck, when he's actually just saying, oh, Barbie. I hope I didn't just ruin it now, because now you're going to listen to it, and you're just going to hear, oh, Barbie. Did I just ruin it? Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> I don't oh, know well, what in general. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to play the clip for you, and you tell me what you think Ken is saying. Pretend like you don't already know that because I spoiled it. Okay. Okay. What'd you hear? I heard fuck. You did? I heard Barbie. I heard Barbie too. <laughs> fuck? There's no way. Hear? I heard fuck. What? Yeah, what? I, I oh like my god. There's not a world fuck. in which I heard fuck. There's Wait. not a world in which I heard Barbie. Everybody's saying it's a new Laurel yeah. Yanny thing, which no. pissed, which pissed me off. We got into so many fights about this. <laughs> <laughs> we still get, if Shane ever brings that up again, we get another, it's like the fight has never happened and we do it all over it's again. It's like the dress, the white gold versus the blue. Wait, what did you the blue and black dress? I saw white and gold <laughs> let's do this first I can't do this. <laughs> okay let's play it one more time let me see if i can even and wait what are you this. saying is it really well just listen oh fuck that's more vintage it's okay i don't know i, I can't hear barbie in there it's that, a, yeah what? at all that time i heard fuck it says oh fuck when you I cl- only hear barbie when you close your eyes it's fine and the syllables aren't the same at all fuck is like okay hold on watch me while we listen ready okay Whoa, when you mouthed it, I saw it. Okay, I heard it. Let me try it again. Is Whoa. it are you playing two versions? Cause I've heard both distinctively. Whoa, when you mouth it, that's all I hear. I didn't wait, even okay. look at you, but I heard Barbie that time. I closed my eyes and I heard fuck, but every other time I've heard Barbie. <laughs> okay, wait, let me close my eyes down. I hear Barbie. Wait, wait, if that I mouth it, maybe you'll hear it. Yeah, you here. mouth fuck. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh, fuck. That's what I meant. <gasps> I don't yes, it, it flip flops for me. It's disgusting. <laughs> It's criminal. It's like really distinctive. Really? I only hear Barbie. Wow. I You're this lying. Be a wow. This is one of the best ones we've ever done, baby. <laughs> yeah. We don't even have to fight about it. I'm just happy we have a conspiracy. Well, hey, what does it mean if I hear both? You're a genius. Yep. Oh, God. Mm. I already knew that. <laughs> okay. Means you're bisexual. <laughs> Actually, when I just watched Are you trying some to pirate me. <laughs> no. um, okay, next one. And we'll get back to this in a second because I want to hear what our moms say about that. But this is a kind of a Mandela, kind of not. What color is the yield sign? Yellow. <laughs> Yellow seems right, but I it I think it's green. Green. Why would it be green? If green I don't is know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it yellow? It's red. I know. What? I'm pissed. In America? E- everywhere, I think. That's yeah. like reserved for stop signs. That's what I thought, but yield is red. No, prove yes. it. Show us. Oh, That's not true. You're going to make me Google this? That's all. Yes, I don't believe. I'm not just going to take your word for it. Wait, what? I'm like positive I've seen it. Are there some yellow ones? Wait, I've, red? I've never seen a red yield sign. Me either. They're red. I know. Between Barbie and this, like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. thought it was red. Isn't that crazy? Or yellow or green. Okay, this is okay, this is another little quick Mandela effect. But Abe Lincoln. How do you remember Abe Lincoln? As a president. <laughs> okay. I mean looks wise, just like with the hat and uh-huh. with the beard and never wore it. What? Never wore the hat. Isn't that crazy? So when you Google it, no hat. The only time you see him in a hat is when it's somebody playing Lincoln. Is that weird? Wait, but did he actually wear it? Oh, he had to have, right? Like, I mean, there's also a picture, though, of him wearing AirPods, so I don't know. <laughs> Dude, don't my know. mind's blown. I know. Get it? I'm just, like, frustrated. I'm like, he what? wore a hat. <laughs> what did he do? It was too theatrical. I- <laughs> he got his head blown off at a theater. Yeah. 
<laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh, this one's fun. So this is a video and I tried to debunk this and I literally couldn't. So you know Elf on the Shelf? It's like a big thing. No, I don't understand what that is when I hear people talking about it. That's actually a thing because again, I didn't grow up with that. But like, yeah, you guys did that? It's no, a pretty no. new thing. I didn't do it. It's a, it was on Shark Tank. It's just a little elf that you put on the shelf. For what? So this video, supposedly, the elf moves. Now, I googled it. There are no elves on the market that do this. So I don't know how this happened, but this video, everybody's saying this is real. So this is Carol, our Christmas elf. This is really scary. Yeah, <laughs> dude, this lady's creepy, dude. Oh! Why do people want those? That was horrifying. <laughs> okay, here's my thing. It's very weird just to like videotape and talk to this elf in the first place. Yeah. So like, and the lady mm -hmm. sounded creepy. I think it was premeditated. But did she yeah. sound like an engineer who could figure out how to make the elf's eyes move when they don't sell a movable eye elf on the shelf? <gasps> I don't know. I've been editing. <laughs> I haven't met a lot of weird engineers, but possibly, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's it scared me, but maybe it was edited or something. I don't know. I I am gonna choose to believe in the magic of Christmas. <laughs> I hate it. And that believe, was Satan. <laughs> and to believe that, was... that that elf was possessed by the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> you can't spell Santa without Satan. <laughs> S A. Eh. Why did that shake me so much? <laughs> right? Oh my god, ew. Whoa. Whoa. Right? Yeah. And the chimney is like hell. It's like fire. Who oh, you? wait yeah. a minute. What is happening? I don't know. Yeah. And the elves are like I little minions. Here. Who like his little minions who like they're all in hell. Terrifying. Okay. Uh, when we come back, Christmas gifts with our parents. See you soon. Okay. I'm very excited because today's sponsor is uh, not just the last sponsor of the year, but was the very first sponsor of this podcast. And that is Buffy. So as you know, Buffy makes award-winning bedding that is as soft on you as it is on the earth. They are one of my all-time favorite brands for so many reasons. Uh, I love their products. I use their products every day, but also they have supported this show more than any other brand. I, I don't even know how many episodes they've sponsored, but they've sponsored a lot. They sponsored the Jeffrey series. They've just really been incredible to work with and also just very supportive. So thank you, Buffy, for making this such an incredible year and for supporting the show. Sorry, back to the bedding. But as you guys already know, my favorite product that they make is their Breeze Comforter, which is incredible. I know I'm wearing a lot of layers right now. I have a jacket, I have a weird hat with antlers, but when I go to bed, I wanna be as cool as possible. I want to be basically naked. I would I would love to just have a sheet and that's it, but I'm too vulnerable for that. Like I'm afraid of demons, like touching me, it's a lot. So the fact that I can have an actual comforter, but it feels lightweight and still keeps my body sweat free is a blessing to all the demons who have been scared away by my sweat. That really took a turn. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yes, check out the Breeze Comforter, but also they have a lot of other their stuff on their site. They have the Breeze bed sheets. They have the Breeze pillow. They also just have incredible bedding of different types and styles and colors. And they have a lot of amazing bedding and everything is very reasonably priced. And also, if you want to get 20% off of your order from Buffy, go to buffy.co and enter code grower at checkout. And they offer a free seven night at home trial. So you can try the bedding before committing to buying it. So thank you so much, Buffy. I love you. I'm so grateful to you. Thank you for one of the most amazing years uh, of my life. And I love this podcast. So thank you guys for watching it. I can't believe this is it. Sorry, I didn't know this was gonna be the last episode of the year until I was filming this ad. And now I feel very emotional and weird. So have a good year and I'll see you guys in 2023. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I might drink tonight. <laughs> Oh, what, a two capsules? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, we got beef going on in here. We didn't want to get here. Charissa's cocktail is diet Sprite and one cap full of wine. And we're all like, what are you doing? Come on, girl. <laughs> we're like, to deal with all of you guys, I need a fucking bottle. I, I may need more tonight. <laughs> okay. The moms are back and... Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Seems like there was some, well, the elephant in the room. I've got a chest reduction. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> and I've heard there was some drama while out shopping. Oh, uh, I, there I, was I, drama? What, what happened? We'll let okay. tell the story. Okay. I, I am very task driven. Oriented. Yeah. Okay. Give me a task. And it's as if I'm obsessed. You seem like a deer who's like interviewing to Santa. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, 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 put me in the front. <laughs> Give me a task. Okay, sorry. Keep going. No, you, you have to understand. Whatever job I had, uh, I I am just tasked to a point where you'll stress yourself out yes, to a bad point. And Vicky, Vicky is like la dee da dee da. And saying, she's like, just have fun Teresa <laughs> and I'm like Vicky we only have 40 minutes <laughs> Teresa let's just have fun and Teresa's telling me on the phone I'm like are you guys ever coming home and she's like well Balenciaga was closed <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is the presents are not great? Yeah, that's basically what they're saying. Yeah, and they I probably think, still spend a thousand dollars. I think you're highly capable of getting awesome presents at Target and Walmart. I was gonna say, now that I think about it, you're not really like I don't know where I got my gift brain from because like you kind of go into a store and you're like you ask the clerk like what should i get my son well she's very so, serious <laughs> so okay, how did you do I, this i need to call my therapist right now <laughs> right like how did you i no, guess they gave no. you a, a very I was, intense task i was very like i was i was on it for chris i kind of knew jared's direction um vicky needed to go with ryland you know what was funny is they got back and they were like the only person we don't have something great for is Shane. And I'm like, of course, yeah. with his credit card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, how much money did you guys spend? Okay, see, that's I have what... No, that's no clue. That's no what clue. confused me, hun, because... You... That's never good. <laughs> when you ask someone how much money they spend, yeah. that's what confused me. <laughs> okay, because you gave us a kind of a... a no a, limit. An amount. no limit, yeah. And we were oh. at Walmart. He master you. So it's like... It still and, adds up. It and, adds up. Now, if we would have, like, let's say it would have been in the daytime and we would have went to some fancy outlet stores, we would have just went bam, 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 bam. Ooh, okay, glad that was not <laughs> <laughs> That's a, That yeah. sounds Ooh. like four bullets right there. <laughs> I, I would have known, I would have known Jared likes nice watches, right? And right. I mean, true. and you wanted that. You I wanted, wanted that, that but, but we were at Walmart. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. <laughs> Shots okay. fired. Hey guys, guys, guys to Sam you Club. they have that nice diamond section at Walmart. Okay. Yes. There's some hot things at Walmart and Target. Wait. No, but can I just say that I learned a lot tonight. Okay. About wow. what? What's the lesson? No, I, I, okay. Vicky and I sort of, we, we can learn from each other. Right, Vicky? You, oh, you tell me. I don't know me if what... we learned anything from me because I just laughed. <laughs> no, but what did Humor you, is something. What, but what did you say to me about how I am and, how you see that i just said that shane and i had a talk the other day how i'm more of a follower and that he thinks i'm a leader and i'm yeah. like i'm really not i and like teresa is a leader like she knows Capricorn. she's like I now listen when we get in target we, we just got to get to the office supply section and then you we have to do this and i'm like Really? I'm like, focus, Vicky, focus. Had the outlets would have been open. Wherever Teresa told my mom to go, that's where they went, for sure. Like, is Walmart your first idea? No, I no. actually Okay, you guys are it. avoiding the actual question, okay. which is how much money <laughs> of my money did you spend? Teresa handled the credit card. Oh! Throwing me no, I mean, I, I would hand it to you and say, you do this part. So I think in our minds, we were like, how can we spend a thousand, a thousand <laughs> <laughs> at Walmart? Um, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shane. I'm so you did? I, well, and then you went to Target after you spent no, a thousand? I, I, I think between. I think How much, Mom? Just spit it out. No protecting anymore. Just tell us. I honestly I, didn't look. Where's the receipts? Well, here's the one thing at Target. You know how I am about my rewards, right? Oh, oh, my, my mom God. collected the points! <laughs> Cheap trick with Vicky. Cheap trick with Vicky. Uh, my mom now has $23 at yeah. Target. Yeah, In all here, fairness. You know, here's the deal, though. Morgan doesn't know this, but you guys all put in my phone number. And yeah. at you do at Target. You guys all put in my phone number and then I get the reward. <laughs> okay, okay, Morgan, so you Morgan, guys are meant to be. <laughs> well, Morgan went to Target twice yesterday and she spent enough that um, there's a thing on Circle if you, if you spend $140 four times in a week this week, then you get a $40 gift okay. card. I'm gonna have to comment in a minute. Okay, so oh. I said to Teresa, 
Oh, when they get to 140, we should stop and let them continue No, you on. didn't say it to me. You said it to the check guy. The yeah, check- but then you were like, Vicky, she comes up to me. We really do not have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think you're going to slow him down. He's new, and we got to get through this. We just do not have time. So for- you didn't get your rewards? I got one, but um, but 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 I didn't slow him down. I didn't stop them because, oh. yeah. Do you guys so, sound like a dream team. I'm just yeah. never going to get the answer. Oh. <laughs> Of how much money? <laughs> Call the bookkeeper. <laughs> how much well, money? Again? Because I have to donate the same amount to the unhoused. Oh shoot! Oh well, we have so the how receipts. Much? Well, we got receipts. Uh-huh. All right, I'll start adding them up. Okay, just out of curiosity, when you went to the register, what happens is they scan everything and then they tell you how much you owe them. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. What number did they give you well, at Walmart? Okay, Walmart was like four. I have no thousand? Idea. No, what? Yeah, four thousand. No, four hundred and something. Out Wait, four hundred or four thousand? No, Walmart. Those are Walmart. different numbers. Four hundred. Okay. And then where'd we go, Vicky Target? Did you buy a four K oh TV? <laughs> and then, well, and I kept saying we need to get something artsy for Ryan, and so at wa- we were... and I said Vicky at Walmart. Mm. How yes. much did the cashier tell you at Target? Oh, uh, um, I have no idea. Mom I, knows. Mom maybe knows. Maybe. Three. Oh, oh so something? you went under budget. They're under a thousand. Oh, I think so. I have no idea. Huh. All right, let's start opening some gifts. Okay. Um, how are we <laughs> going to do, we do this? Wanna, should yeah. we stop the podcast and rap? No, my oh, God. Vicky, Shane, I'm this. <laughs> Shane but is the I will biggest say, rapper. Before in we the do world. this, if I was able to hang out with Vicky more because, you know, uh, we're not able to see each other very much, I think I would learn to try to chill. Yeah. <laughs> Because I am very, very driven. My mom would teach you how to drink a full glass of wine, that's for sure. Yeah, see, we would just get... Okay. I love no, you, No, we had a really good time. I do. I, I, thought, love I you. think we had a really good time. Okay. Uh, uh, let's move on. <laughs> okay. So okay. Four should, hours later. Like, yeah. Should we do... Um, should we do Chris first? Yes, let's start with Chris. Oh, okay. I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? Okay. You should... I'm nervous. I don't know what I bought you. <laughs> Okay. okay, so Thank what, you. consider this your present. What, what, what did we talk about with Chris? Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> you actually did get me. <laughs> wow. I that? actually don't even like Star Wars, and I love that. Yeah. How does that work? What is that's an actual lifesaver? It's like a cool one. lifesaver. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I, see, I I was I knew. Okay, that's he pretty did good. So much. He, that he did so say a lifesaver. That was Teresa's yeah. idea. He did. He did. <laughs> he definitely gave me. Uh, <laughs> what is that? It's a Star Wars shirt. <laughs> Uh, uh, I feel like Chris, you already have that shirt. I don't have this one, and I will 100% wear it. Good. And then Vicky, Vicky, she thought he would really enjoy this. Oh Oh my God! I love that for me, Uh, for Chris. Chris, I got him a drone. I want a Chris, I want exterior I shots of the house for the vlog. 100. Do you realize we could have just got four drones at Walmart? <laughs> oh, no, no, we want oh Chris to have it because now he can shoot for us. No oh, oh, my God. God. Thank you so much. Gosh, wow, Chris, <laughs> I better get exterior shots of the house. A hundred. I'm really excited. <laughs> These are really cool, but like, I've, uh, yeah, I've if never you want to check drone. out the drone footage that Chris gets for the Island's vlog. Oh my gosh, I'm shook. Ooh. But the chances of you not having some of this is slim. So. Wow, okay, this is exciting. Yes. They better live up to Chris's. Uh, he got there better drone. be a drone. I'm, sorry. I'm seeing it, dude. Uh, I ain't seen a drone. Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing a calendar. I'm seeing a calendar. It looks cute. Not bad, not bad. Um, okay, so an Animal Crossing calendar. This is actually very cute. It I love cute. this. Thank you. Very cute. cute. Not a drone. If but you don't like it, my mom cute. will have it. <laughs> These. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> these are really cute. Really? Little Mario, <laughs> Luigi, and Yoshi. No, wait, why you is, do love figures like I that. Why is Luigi so. missing an arm? What? Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Dang! Oh my gosh, Teresa! So, so and we okay. had to leave one behind. No, it's okay. I like it. It has character. I think, I, He's had to struggle. Shane, I'm crying. Oh my God. <laughs> Something about Shane is whenever we like a uh, like statue at a store, he always looks for the disfigured oh. one. I do. He does. I do. <laughs> um, for you. Ooh, some oh games. Yes. We have Super Mario Odyssey and oh. something else with Mario and some rabbits. Ooh. <laughs> Those are good. Thank you. A guy told me this those. This is so disingenuous, Shane. Well, I bought this for myself. <laughs> 
<laughs> they still thought about you. Yeah. Oh, they did. I, I love it. You're love like, it. this is shitty. This is shitty. <laughs> that is not true. Show some emotion or at least fake it. Okay. Oh. We donated to Toy oh, for no. Oh, my God. No, these are really sweet. I Those love it. Thank you. And um, oh, this is fun. This is a life size Will Ferrell that you put in your car next it's to you. Funny. Actually, you were looking at those at Walmart. I, I actually did almost buy this at Walmart the other day. <laughs> quasi so illegal. You. Quasi illegal. <laughs> no, job. those are really cute. You know, I love those presents. You know, those come on. Amazing. It's taste. still feeling fake. Okay, who's that? Let's see. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I might have to ship this back to California. <laughs> Wait, right on. Yeah, is Whoa. That, is that even in the shot? It is. Okay. Whoa. I, 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 here, guys, check it out. Wow. This is a. Um, My dogs would love to chase that. <laughs> Did you? There's a little dead frog in there? Oh, I, oh we didn't oh. pay for that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Cheap trick, hide the frog in your other gift. Um, anyway. <laughs> in my gift, there would be a stolen item. <laughs> no, that's fun. We should play with that. That is like an expensive toy for Riley. Jared, Jared, Jared's kind of a kid at heart. Oh my God. And that's what yeah. made me pick that. No, this is okay. this is exactly no, what I want. I'm ready to bust that out tomorrow. Wow. wow. Those are, are actually you jealous, good. Shane? Thank you, Shane. No, I love my calendar. <laughs> and I love my armless Luigi. I love this. This is kind of crazy. They all get elaborate text and Shane gets an animal crossing calendar. I'm expecting a car to shine, roll shine. up for Riley. <laughs> Okay. I can't okay, wait. Okay, Ryland, you're wait, last. There, there was a couple little items. More oh for Jared? Uh, Shane. Oh Jared, God. share whatever you don't like with Shane. Stop. Bearded hair conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, okay. Now, before we get to the last part, uh -oh. Ryland, you were the toughest. And so oh. I'm really. He was like, Shane was pretty tough. Well, I, I think you Shane. You got a candy was necklace? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryland, I, I would vibe it? with the candy Ring necklace pops? right now. <laughs> we bought a couple things that Shane and Ryan share right, together. Let's do this. Okay. Vicky, make sure he does the tiny one first. Okay. Okay. I think that he's not letting me. I love Is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the tiny one? This one? All right. I'm so excited. It's so cute. Actually, yeah. No, he yeah. loves presents. Tiny I one. love presents. Ooh. Uh, Oh my gosh. Wait, what is this for? Your what is it for? It's a heated blanket. Ah! <laughs> wow, this is incredible because Shane does love to keep the house freezing, so I can just, you know, oh. cuddle up on my heated throw. Wow, the six heat settings. Yeah, Machine can't. washable? I just Amazing. Can't do this. That is uh, really cool. You're actually gonna like at least I love I mean I had one forever ago. Uh, what'd you get, Shane? <laughs> Oh, I was going to say my calendar has it only has, Shane. I don't think it even has 12 months. I'll share oh, no, my heated does. blanket with you, Shane. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what's next? <laughs> oh, you got me a bra for my kids that are gone. <laughs> oh, wow, this is a nice bra. Oh. I hope it fits those girls that you have. Okay, yeah, this is, is great. It, really? How many more? <laughs> oh. I can already see the next what gift is, is one for right Teresa. No. What is that? This is no, this is great, but Teresa wants one of these too. Hold it up for the See, camera. I love it, <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> she literally said They both to, want this gift. She said yesterday, oh, I wanted to. Yeah, she <laughs> said, you know what to get me for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, wait, he said this to you? No, Austin and Stacy had one at Thanksgiving, and she was like, get me one of these for Christmas. Oh. What is this? So. Okay. No, I do love, and what did I tell you today, Teresa? The thing I miss about our last house is the instant hot water. Yes. So this is actually okay. wonderful, and I okay. will use it a lot. Okay. Okay. Well, this is um, humbling. <laughs> <laughs> How do I do this genuine? Oh. Okay. Thank you guys <laughs> for spending uh, $900 of my money. <laughs> They did splurge. This one looks nice. <laughs> some of which uh, were defected. <laughs> and, um, stolen. And some of which were stolen. <laughs> no, that was great. That was amazing. And uh, we appreciate you guys for being little Santa's helpers. And where's my card? <laughs> <laughs> because Balenciaga opens tomorrow and you're scared to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game is over now. Yeah. <laughs> no, these are really sweet, and anything we don't use, we will donate to Toys for Tots. And what are you talking 
talking about? Okay, so no, that's another thing I did keep telling Teresa. <laughs> we do donate. I toys, said yeah. Shane is so sweet. Last year when we did a few gift so things for videos, mm-hmm. uh, Shane went and donated it. Yeah, anything that so we don't use, did. we will donate. Uh, oh. I will keep the armless Lou, uh, Louis. Louis <laughs> it's almost like they buy your gifts and that. Oh, Shane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will say there's there's <laughs> there's little Debbie's out there for you too <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> There you go. This is really giving me flashbacks to my childhood. Um, <laughs> How did that Is there a go? pumpkin pie in you mean finish? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys. You guys did really great. And um, no, we're very lucky to have moms like you. We love you guys. And we're very grateful for all the presents and uh, for your presence on today's podcast. Aww. Thank you. Thanks. It was fun. It was and we kid about the gifts. It really was a fun bit. And it, oh. we love the gifts. Yeah, you, you guys don't think like, I was just joking. I just can't believe Chris got the first one, kind of. Yeah, well, Chris's was fucking heavy. I love my gifts. Strong. A drone? He started strong. Very strong. <laughs> Toys for I was not expecting that. this. Yeah, his boyfriend shook. He's like, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's screwed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to uh, play with our presents, and when we come back, <laughs> it's time for a recap. See you in a second. Mike's camera action. Ryland's recap is about to happen. Yeah. Ryland's recap. On today's episode of the Shane Dawson podcast, the boys get together because some sponsors came through. <laughs> <laughs> True. Real talk. Very grateful. No, the boys love Bless. celebrating holidays, and to get in the spirit, they brought their moms on the show. <laughs> okay. A fact. Yes. Um, oh, 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 what? I was just going to say Jared and Vicky. Jared uh, falling oh. in love oh. with Ryland's mom. In scandalous news, Jared decides to hit on Ryland's mom, and I think it's going well. <laughs> 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 In a shocking twist of events, uh, the shopping challenge turned the moms against each other. <laughs> a woman loves growing. Oh, oh, oh. Um, girl, girl, uh, girl confirms that growing dicks are better. Oh, this is oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> you did this with my sister. I draw the line at my mom. <laughs> Dude, um, we're pod committed. That was my bad. That was my bad. Yeah, yeah, that's your fault. Your fault. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Um, Cheap tricks. Uh, if you uh, sell Christmas, uh, if you make tips. In um, entrepreneurial news. <laughs> in entrepreneurial. <laughs> in entrepreneurial. Whoa, I can't say the word. Entrepreneurial. In, in scammer news, Jared came up with the most manipulative cheap trick of the season, oh. which is scam people for money. Maybe what I did is I helped you fucking notice a scam happening so you can avoid being scammed oh. when you're buying a Christmas tree this season. You're bringing awareness to criminals like you. Or yeah. selling. <laughs> a way to make more tips. Well, the moms maxed out Shane's credit card. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's still unclear how much they spent. <laughs> the moms will not reveal how much they spent on the holiday gift exchange, and the gifts were subpar. It's. Oh. <laughs> They I didn't say it. No, 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 no. They knocked it out of the park with Chris, and everything went downhill from there. <laughs> oh. uh, Ryland's breast reduction. In sad news. <laughs> In sad news, uh, I had to, like Kim Kardashian, reduce the size of my body. Oh. <laughs> That's what she's doing, right? Oh, oh my God, I'm so stupid. What? I need to show you guys. Oh, fuck. We're going to show you this clip from Toy Story 3. And you tell us what uh, you hear. Yeah. Is the best way for them not to look at it and just to hear it maybe? Yeah, just close your eyes. Okay, tell us what you hear Ken scream. Oh, fuck. <gasps> no, the F word. You heard what I heard. Oh, my gosh. Vicky, what did you hear? Well, I heard the F word, but that's not voice. <gasps> they both heard yeah. it. They both heard it. What is going on? Why don't I hear it? Oh, fuck. That's how, how could you not hear that? That's right there? clearly okay. what he said. Look at me while you're watching. Ready? Look, it changed look, it when he did this. Look at me. Oh, Barbie. That's what meant it. That was Barbie. See, when you mouth it, I hear it. My mom and I both hear it both distinctively. You were serving. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. In controversial meme news, the household is split over Barbie or fuck. (laughs) Weird. (laughs) It's true. Wow, that is crazy. It really is. I can't believe it's working. 
Can I just say something to you right now? <laughs> Always. Don't tell me he looks good. That was creepy earlier today. You look today. fucking great in this cost. Like your hair, dude. The little swaft, oh, waves that are happening in the front. The little. I'm sure there's a I'm porno for saying, you, Jared. That was the costume for you, bro. It looks amazing. Thank you. I just hadn't seen you from this exact angle, and it put it all together for me. <laughs> I was like, wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Well, okay. Uh, you know, this has been an amazing year, one of the best of our lives, and we love doing the podcast. We're so excited. Well, you guys, this has been one of the <laughs> best years of our entire life. We hope you enjoyed the Shane Dawson podcast all year long. We hope to bring it to you all next year long as well. And that's it. Nothing but growth from here. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, Hopefully we'll show you our growth next year. We oh. so appreciate your support. Thank you for watching the Shane Dawson podcast. Follow all of us on social media. And thank you to our lovely moms for joining the episode. I figured out why you look creepy to me. Why? It looks like he has no eyebrows. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Boom. I mean, it does. Yeah. And we'll see all of you next year on the Shane Dawson podcast. Oh, oh my God. Why? That almost made me cry. Uh, well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed whatever the hell this was. <laughs> Christmas edition. This was one of the best episodes of the year. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, thank you for having me. Um, <laughs> wow. Whoa. Dude, slept online. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I can't believe this year's over. Wow, this is really sad. Okay, well, we'll see you guys next year. Make sure to follow everybody. And um, thank you guys for everything. We love you. Bye. Happy Christmas, New Year's, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. Hand reveal. Oh. Oh. <gasps> okay, bye!